Yeah, we'll, uh, we'll get going because you know, there's people to ready to talk. Right? This is Andy Purwal for Boxing Social in association with Betfred. I'm delighted to be joined by Shondell Winters over Zoom. Shondell, first and foremost, how are you? Oh, uh, man, I'm good, man. I'm blessed and I'm highly favoured. Just kind of go back to kind of how long have you been in the UK then? How long have you been over in these shores? Um, I've been over here for a little bit. Um, it's, 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 it's good. Um, the thing that I say will stand out is how hospitable everybody is. Yeah. Now, obviously, you, you're facing Alan Babich on Saturday night, but talk to me about how long have you actually known about the fight? How long were you talking about it? Because it was one of the last fights to be announced on the card, only, I think it's only a matter of a few days ago. Yeah, well, the reality is that I found out um, maybe about, you know, look, some time ago. You know, I can't give an exact, like, two weeks, three weeks, four weeks, you know. But I knew it was a possibility, right? But the reality is I've been in the gym. You know what I'm saying? This is how, like, I don't have a, a nine-to-five job. This is my job. So I be in the gym all the time, you know. So it's like you ain't going to never just pop up, yeah, I'm going to catch him off guard or whatever. That ain't going to happen. Alan Babich, somebody you know, Eddie's excited about. Eddie wants to see where he goes with his career to step up to face somebody like yourself. What do you expect from him on Saturday night? What do I expect from him? I expect for him to come forward and do what he – or try to do what he said. You know what I'm saying? He wants to knock me out. So I expect him to come forward, you know what I'm saying, with pressure, throwing a lot of punches, you know, um, and, and try to, you know what I'm saying, uh, break me down or whatever. What are you? Be, what should we expect to see from yourself, Sean Dow? What have you been working on? You can expect to see fast, you know what I'm saying, quick. I mean, you know, fast and quick is, is spelled different, so you know it's different to be fast and quick, you know what I'm saying, and strong. Boxing returning now as well behind closed doors. Do you feel fortunate at all to be one of the first names back on the show? I know it's over in the UK and you're from the US, but do you feel the sense of fortune to be able to get back out so soon? Man, absolutely. Like, that's why I was referencing a little earlier about me feeling that, you know, this is destiny for me. You know what I'm saying? Like, um, I've had three losses in my career so far. And each loss that I've had when I the coming back, was always greater than what I lost, you know? And so, like, too, because the purpose for me fighting and, you know what I'm saying, winning and moving on is far greater than, you know what I'm saying, uh, me fighting my opponent, you know what I'm saying? So it's like, that's why I feel that, you know what I mean? Because what I can do, you know what I'm saying, on these platforms with these victories, you know what I'm saying, it's changed where I'm from. Like, they dying, like, every day, you know? And nobody say nothing, ain't nobody trying to say nothing, you know. And there's a lot of people that could. The reality is they the ones that had a platform, they don't really care, you know. So where do you believe a win would take your career? What opportunities do you think would line up on the back of a victory on Saturday night? I really don't know because, I mean, I don't know how they feel about the bat. I don't know how, you know, people feel about the Babic fight. I'll fight anybody, King Kong, Godzilla, you know. It don't really matter to me. The thing is, I think if you keep winning, winning cures all, you know. People forget what you – you you could have just lost very bad. But if you come back and win, you know, it, what hey man, he knocked him out. The loss is gone, you know. We know obviously it's behind closed doors as well. How do you feel about that? How do you feel you'll adjust to boxing without a crowd in attendance? Um, I really can't say because when I'm fighting, I don't fight for the crowd anyway. You know, don't get me wrong, I'm an entertainer and I love to do that. You know, I just came to cross a couple bridges I love to entertain and I love to fight. You know what I'm saying? So how do I think it's going to be? I mean, probably like a little more intense than sparring, but sparring being intense for us in Chicago, sparring is like fights. Sean Dell, final thing from me. Obviously, the headline fight is also a heavyweight clash between yeah. Dillian White and Alexander Povetkin. Yeah. Just what are your thoughts on there, about What do you expect to see from that? Don't know. Either one of those guys and more power to both of them. You know what I'm saying? May God be with them both. Sean Dell, thank you. Yeah. Gang in this.
gang, gang. James, did you have a question, mate, just before we let him go off? Yeah, got a few, yeah, yeah. Just got a couple more oh, questions oh, for you, just before you go, oh, okay. and then we'll get you out of there. <laughs> <laughs> hey, man, my you fault, man. Yeah. He, he was now. like, man, it's over with. I'm done. All right. Hold on, let me get my walk. My bad. Sean Dale, morning. How are you? What's up, champ? Um, I just want to start off with uh, last time he was in the ring, Joseph Parker, former world champion, and now it's Alan Babich, a 3 and 0 novice. Does your preparation change for these two different types of fighters? Nope, because it ain't about the individual. You know what I'm saying? It's about me. You know what I'm saying? That's what my focus is about me. I'm not worried about him. You know what I'm saying? I'm not worried about him or what he want to do. You mentioned earlier on about you're always ready. You're always in the gym. How prepared are you going into this bout? Is it the most ready you've been in your career? I'm not here, you know what I'm saying, to get no check. You know what I'm saying? I want to fight the best. I want to be a world champion. In fact, that's what I'm going to be, a world champion. I feel like I'm the best. I don't care what nobody thinks, you know what I'm saying? That's how I feel. Saturday night, you know what I'm saying, I get a chance to show that. I'm excited. Many are saying this is a step up for Adam Babich. Is it a step up too soon? I mean, how can I say that? You know, I, I, I was an amateur at 180 pounds in Chicago beating up world champions. I'm not going to say their names. But I was beating up world champions in, Chicago, in the gyms, and I only had, like, four fights. So how can I, you, you know, you can't really say that because it ain't the size of the dog. It's not the size of the fight in the dog. It's, I mean, it's not the size of the dog. And the fight is the size of the fight in the dog. You know what I'm saying? And one thing I could say for sure, is I already know how I'm coming. So, you know, his name is The Savage, you know. And the, the last one from me before I pass you on to run there, just a quick prediction on the fight yourself, Adam Babich, what are you expect in Saturday night? I expect him to come forward, put a lot of pressure, you know, uh, throw a lot of punches, combinations, and look to try to break me down, you know. But the reality is um, you see one thing about you know, being in Chicago and just uh, traveling abroad and boxing. When you're in the gym all the time, you're going to see some of everything. I done seen the come forward pressure styles, the heavy puncher style, like the throw a lot of – like, I done seen it all. You know what I'm saying? The reason why I come I was able to stand in front of Joseph Park, and I feel like, you know, if I could have moved a little bit more, I would have beat him. But the reason I was able to do that is because I came up in the gyms at 180 pounds sparring with 260 pound guys, that's not taking it easy. And the thing that I had to rely on is they bigger than me, they stronger than me, but you can't catch me. You know what I'm saying? I ran a mile in like five minutes, 19 seconds. You did. Absolutely. Sean Dell, thank you so for me. Best of luck tonight. Yeah. Just want to see if Ron's got any questions before you start. Ron, have you got any questions, Joran, just before we uh, let him go? I think that's it for today. Thank you very much. Yeah. Thank you.